All right, if you have studied for your SAT, then the first 10 or so questions of the first module should be a breeze. They're gonna just test basic math ideas. This one has got a story, but it's still testing very simple things, right? A veterinarian recommends that each day a certain rabbit should eat 25 calories per pound of the rabbit's weight. Okay, well, right away, if you've been practicing, that should sound like a slope, right? It's got a rate here, right? And rates and slopes go together. We can tell just from the choices that we're not going to deal with anything more complicated like a quadratic equation. So this is going to be some sort of slope. Continuing, uh, we have the slope plus an additional 11 calories. Well, that's your y-intercept, right? So we're basically building a line. Which equation represents the situation where C is the total number of calories the veterinarian recommends the rabbit should eat each day if the rabbit's weight is X pounds. Okay, nothing crazy here because it's the first question in the first module. It's supposed to be easy. So all we need to recognize is that if we're building our Y equals MX plus B equation, this is my M, this is my B, so 25 is my M, 11 is my B, and that's it. It follows a very standard kind of linear equation here. I don't think you really need to think too deeply about lines, but I think it does help to be able to recognize the two components. And lots of stories are going to follow the same basic format, even when they get harder. You have to think about constant rates as slopes and as kind of starting points as uh, y-intercepts, and then just, you know, build the equation around that. If you really wanted to, you could arithmetize here. You could kind of come up with a hypothetical weight for the rabbit and then follow the story to kind of come up with how many calories it should eat. But I don't recommend that here. This is, this is much easier than that. But just recognize that even on easy questions, you're going to have answers that are traps, that if you don't quite read correctly or if you kind of make a quick assumption, uh, you're going to get it wrong. The answer choice that you or the, the equation that you might write incorrectly will still be there to catch you. And so you might not know. So if you've got any extra time on the first module, module for math, you should still be going back to stuff like this and double checking you didn't misread it because you don't want to lose points on something this easy.